Hey guys, it's Hannah again. Um, <laughs> I, I need to come up with something for opening. Anyway, so today I'm going to teach you how to do the Rubik's Cube Cup song that I did, well, I posted yesterday. Um, and so yeah, I have my Rubik's Cube here. Um, and I, I don't know whether or not you have one, but I guess this could still be fun anyway, even if you don't. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is have a solved Rubik's Cube. That's pretty important with this. Um, because, so the, the whole key to this, it's not that I'm some crazy genius, because I'm not. It's just a series of patterns to even solve the Rubik's Cube normally. Um, and so... What we're going to do is really just a short pattern. We're going to repeat it several times. And then we're going to learn how to do the cup song motions. And we're going to put it together. And you can actually do this with almost any song. I've been able to do it with several. So I'll, I guess I can get into that at the end of the video. Or if I forget, I, I can put it in the description. Um, okay, so let's jump right in, I guess. Uh, the, the I already said this, you want to solve Rubik's Cube. Uh, sorry the picture keeps freezing every once in a while, like that. Uh, right, okay. Um, when, once you have your Rubik's Cube solved, um, you the pattern that I'm going to do is turn... A, everything's going to be clockwise, so if I don't say which direction, any piece you turn, you will turn it clockwise. Okay? Um, Alright. So just, you can really do this with any pattern as long as you repeat your steps exactly. So the one I like to do is the, the let me turn this, okay, now it's centered. I like to do the front piece, then the one to the right of that, then the right of that, and then the right of that. So you go to all four sides all of them clockwise. Then you go to the top piece and you turn that clockwise and then you flip it to the bottom piece and you turn that. Okay, now I did once have a Rubik's Cube that did not have the colors in the same positions as this. So at least on this, that's why I'm going with the sides instead of the colors. Most Rubik's Cubes have this set of colors though, now that I have a new one. so. Uh, the pattern I just used was white, blue, yellow, green, orange, and red. Okay, so it's really as simple as that. Just remember that pattern. Let's do it again. White, blue, yellow, green, orange, red. Also, um, let me go back a second. Um, if you look at the orange top piece, you see well, the orange side. It, the center piece is the color that I'm talking about whenever I refer to a color. Um, you see the orange center piece, and you look at the pieces around it, really. After the first rotation, you're going to have two of each color on, on the top, and they're going to be connected like this. Um, Alright, so after the second step, the second set of the same steps, it's, oh, did I? Um, uh, okay. It's going to look like a T, sort of. One second, let me make sure. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure I did the top piece, because I've done this and messed up. So, you're, it's going to look like a T. Um, and I always, because I always forget this, I sometimes forget to turn the top piece when I'm not doing the cup song. Um, once after you turn the orange piece with it beforehand it will be pointing towards white afterwards it will be pointing towards blue I've made this mistake like when I'm just turning them over and over I'll forget that and I'll mess the whole thing up so just watch out for that the red piece also looks like a T but you're mainly going to be looking at the orange because I, I personally haven't noticed the red as much the orange has a set pattern and you'll remember these shapes when we get halfway through Okay, so after another set, it'll look like like a big X, and 
like I, I guess as if if you were to turn each side of the Rubik's Cube twice, all the sides look like that, just like alternated colors. Not important right now, but that's kind of this. That's the X that we're looking for. Um, okay. So then after another one, you're going to have a cross up here. And I didn't notice this for a long time, but you actually have a cross on all the sides, I believe. Yep, on every side there's a cross. Even if there are a few extra pieces, like on blue, you have one extra corner. On white, you have two. Same with red. Um, but, like... Pay attention to orange, and you will keep track of where you are. So crosses on all of that. If you just want to mix it up for the heck of it to solve it, this is a good place to go if you just want to save time, because your first step on normally solving it is the white cross, or any color, whatever color you pick. After another set here, it orange is really going to be the only identifiable one. Um, but you actually do have two of each color on here. They're just not as coordinated as before. So, um, this is after 30 total rotations. We're doing six each set. Um, so, yeah, this, this is 30 now. Um, okay, then after another one, the orange side will look almost complete, except for this green piece. And that's the sign that you're halfway done. So, there's really no other coordination with the other sides, but just remember that. This is your halfway point. So, then after another set, recognize something. Okay, it's not exact, because there's three whites and one green, but there's only one orange, and there's other colors kind of randomly spread out. That's from uh, the, ro the set of rotations before halfway through. So the next set, we have our crosses on every side. Okay, Recon recognize it? You, do you, are you picking up the pattern? Okay, so after another one, we have our X. And then after another, we have our T, and I just noticed this, it is facing the same side, it is on blue, so. And after one more, it's not quite as coordinated as the beginning, but we have like connected colors two, at a certain, two together, and we have just orange in the middle. And then you do one more set, and it's solved. All done. You've just solved a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to learn the cup song. Um, I actually don't have a cup with me, so I can't show you the normal one, but you can look that up almost anywhere. Um, it's pretty popular. So, yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I like to start with white, so you want whatever side you're... You know what? Let me just show you. For the motions itself, we're not rotating anything right now. This is actually how I learned how to do the cup song with the Rubik's Cube, motion-wise. You just clap, clap, one, two, three, clap, move it over for now, clap, grab, hit the side, not the one on top. You grab the one on top, hit the side, uh, hit the bottom, grab it, hand down, cube down. This is if you don't really want to um, solve it, if you're just messing around. I don't know why it's so blurry down here. I mean, not blurry, but, you know, it's motion sensitive. So yeah, let's try the first half. Clap, clap, one, two, three, clap, grab, place. I don't know, good words. So that that's step one. Pretty simple. Um, even with the cup, I found that pretty easy. Um, the more complicated one is, wait, I just did the whole thing. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So, yeah, the harder part is just coordination, I guess. Um, clap. No, I did that. So, 
You can do it either way. You can grab here or here. It really doesn't matter. It's just a matter of making sure it gets turned over. Now the second half is actually very different when we're solving it. So, I, I did that way wrong. Okay, whatever. Um, moving on to solving it. Well, rotating the pieces. So, clap, clap, one, two, three, clap, move it over. That's pretty much the same, at least for the first step when you're starting. Then you clap, uh, grab it, up, you hit it with your hand, down, you grab the bottom two thirds, you twist the piece that you're grabbing clockwise, and then you put it down. Okay? So clap, clap, one, two, three, clap, move it over, clap, grab, hit, down, grab, turn, down. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to go a little further. So after you've done your first rotation, then we have to get to another side. We have to get to the next side, which is blue over here. And it's really not that hard. It's pretty simple. So clap, clap, one, two, three, clap, grab the side, and uh, move it. Turn the side. Turn which side? The side that you grab is going to go on top. Then we clap, grab, hit, down, grab, twist, down. So now we've turned two pieces. And if we continue, and you see the pattern forming with the orange side, This is where we started with our first set of rotations. This is what it should look like after you've done it the first time. So, yeah, then it just, well, you're actually, lim okay, the next thing is knowing like, how to get to the top and bottom pieces. That's where it was a little tricky for me. Okay. So we know how to do all four sides, and you can do it with just four sides, but it takes a total of 1,260 rotations, which is a little long for the cup song. <laughs> okay, so after you've done your green side here, it's pretty much the same, just instead of grabbing here and turning back to white, you want to go like this. You want to... Uh, Instead of grabbing here, you actually do grab on top, but a little more forward, and just pull it back. And then, yeah, that one's normal. Uh, to get to the red, sometimes I slip this up. Um, clap, clap, one, two, three, clap, grab it here, and flip. And then that's the same. Then, this one's a little tricky if you don't know what you're doing, so I am going to explain this. After you've done a full rotation and you're on red, you need to get back to white, which isn't here, it's not here, it's actually over here. Not too hard, but just make sure, I, it's not as simple as just going here, as just moving it in the opposite direction. What you want to do is twist it a little bit. So instead of doing this or this, to just get back here. Um, yeah, you want to... I'm sorry, I can't do it in one motion. You, yeah. You want to move it on. You want to be twisting it as you put it down. That way, your blue's over here, and you're starting right back where you need to be. So, it's as simple as that. It may sound complicated because it took me 13 minutes to explain it, but that's all you need to do. And to see me demonstrate it, um, just... Go to the video I uploaded yesterday, Rubik's Cube Cup Song. Um, I think I can't upload videos longer than 15 minutes, so I'm going to have to cut this a little bit short. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, I guess leave a like down below um, and a comment. That would be fun. Um, I'd like to hear what you're saying, and i got 30 seconds. Um, I'm probably going to do a tutorial on how to solve the Rubik's Cube normally. That way, if you don't start with a solved one, you can go on and do it yourself. 
Okay, so I, yeah, I got 20 seconds now. So, um, I guess I'll see you in a little bit. I might upload it in the same day. So, maybe not, because I gotta stall until Friday. I got something big, hopefully. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!